Hello, hello, hello. Today is July 31st, 2025. Here follows the solution to problem 235 by Keith Norman. The Helmholtz coil. He starts to say in 802 lecture 14, Walter introduces the Biot-Savart law and calculates the field at the center of a thin coil. So you will have to go back to that. He assumes that you know that. When I saw these drawings, at first I was a little puzzled because if I look from this direction, Keys didn't mention whether the current was going clockwise or counterclockwise. However, this is Bio Savoir, and it has here the cross product between two vectors. And that gives him then the direction of dB. <clears throat> Since he concludes that dB is in this direction, I was therefore able to conclude that dL is into the paper. Therefore, if I look in this direction, the current is going clockwise and also there. So he writes there Bio Savoy. That's just a given. You see that in my lecture. I didn't quite derive it, but I came to that conclusion. And then now he has to integrate over dL, so he has to multiply dL, dL becomes 2 pi r. And since we're only interested in the x direction, the component, have to multiply by the cosine of this angle phi, and that you see that there. So now, he has to calculate the length of S2. And he uses Pythagoras. This squared is this squared plus this squared. And this from here to here is R over 2 minus X. And there is his r over 2 minus x, so this is Pythagoras, and here's the cosine of phi. So he finds b2. And he finds b1, but be careful now, because when you hear that location is r over 2 plus x. And so he points that out. And so here he finds the final result, the B field, at any position X, the sum of 1 and 2. If he puts in the values R over 2 plus or minus, then he finds here 0.677 mu0 I over R. If he puts in x equals zero, then he finds something that's pretty close, only 6% different. It's only 6% higher than at the centers of the coils. Now he's going to do something very fancy. That's why he is Keith Norman. <laughs> he is now going to solve this equation here, for any value of x, not only for r over 2 plus or minus, not only for x is 0, but for any value of x, and that gives you then this polynomial expansion. So this is the second term, x over r to the power 4, and here to the power 6. The first term is, is 0.716. And if you now look at this x over r to the power 4, that is only 1 16th 
Whereas x over r here is only a half. In other words, you can more or less ignore the x over r to the power 4. So he comes to the conclusion, since the term here is so small, it's really largely driven by this one, that the B-field is very uniform. Thank you, Keith, for this wonderful solution, and thank you also for the polynomial expansion. How many people did this problem correctly? Uh, I make a rough guess. I would say probably not more than five or six. So it was not too easy. But the reason is that you people were lazy and didn't check where I cover Biosafar in my 802 Lexus. That's the way it is. We'll be friends anyhow, that's always a given.